which you guys stop paying for data recovery software. 13 years ago, I made a video showing you how to do data recovery and recover data on a formatted drive. It's helped 1.2 million people recover data without spending a penny. Now, as long as the drive is functioning properly and it's not damaged and it works, you should be able to recover the data on that drive using free software. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So if you have a hard drive, external drive, USB flash drive, micro SD card or SSD or any of these devices and you've lost data on it, you can recover the data on that drive by using free software. Now it's important to say that if you've lost data or formatted the drive, you need to stop using that drive immediately to stand the best chance of recovering the data on that drive. We're going to be using free software called PhotoRec, which I've used before and it's been quite successful. So it's always best to give your drive a scan with PhotoRec first to see whether you can recover the data. Works with many different operating systems and different file systems, as you can see here. FAT, NTFS, also XFAT and a bunch of other ones. Also media, it works with a bunch of different types of media as well, which we can recover the data from. I'll leave the link in the video description and you can read this in more detail to find out whether this is going to be useful for you to recover the data from your drive. You can see here the formats recovered by PhotoRec contains more than 480 different file extensions, which is really useful for recovering all sorts of data. Let's go ahead and see if we can help another 1.2 million people recover their data using this software. Just go ahead and go to the download section where it says download test disk and photo rec. So let's go ahead and hit that and it will give us an option to download some software where you can see here for Windows 32 bit or 64 bit Mac OS X. Also, we have Linux here and a bunch of other ones like DOS as well if you want to use that type of software. So you can use this software on different uh, operating systems. So I'm going to choose Windows 64 bit here, and this will download the software to uh, my computer. Now, if you find this software useful, you can always donate to the creator and help to keep this software going. So now we've got the software downloaded. And you can see we've got two drives here, C and E. They are the same drive. They've been partitioned off to create a new partition called E. And we're going to be recovering data from the whole drive and I'll show you how to do it. So let's format the E drive here. So it erases all of the wallpapers that we have stored on that partition. So I'm going to do a quick format here. Now you may have installed Windows and you can still recover data even after you've formatted the drive and installed Windows. Just as soon as you know that you've lost your data, stop using the computer and start recovering the data immediately. That way you have the best chance of recovering your data. And also, you can see here, as long as you've got uh, the software installed on that uh, drive, you cannot recover data to the drive you've got the software installed on. It has to be recovered to a, another drive. So let me go ahead and unzip the actual file that we downloaded from the site. I'm going to extract all, and this is going to go into my downloads folder. So let's go ahead and open this up now. You should now see a folder called test disk. So we're going to go inside here and we should see the executable file that we need to execute. There's two types of files here. One of them is a GUI based file, and the other one is if you want to use some sort of prompt box where you can go in and uh, use that method if you wish. We'll use the graphic user interface because it's gonna be a lot easier for you to understand. In my older video, I showed you the older method, which was using this file here that doesn't have a GUI. Uh, so we want to definitely use a GUI based one because it's going to be easier to understand. So let's go ahead and open up the gphoto rec underscore win.exe. You should see a prompt box saying user account control. Say yes to this one and this will open up the application. Should look something like this. Looks a bit confusing, but it is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is select the actual drive that you want to recover data from. You can see here. This is the one we're going to be going for right here. You can see it says unknown 64 gigabytes whole disk at the very top. That's the one I'm going to select because I want to scan the whole drive to make sure we have the best chance of recovering the data that we want on that drive. This could be your SSD. It could be a mechanical drive. It could be a micro SD card. It could be a USB uh, drive. It could be a external drive. So let's go ahead and select the whole disk right here. And this is what we're going to scan. Now you can see this is only 64 gigabytes 
uh, but yours might be a massive disk uh, like a terabyte or four terabytes or it might be just a 512 gigabyte ssd or whatever it is you just select that drive and scan it so what we're going to do here is select the file system type now fat ntfs is the one we're going for because we're on a windows based system but if you're on linux you can use one of the other ones which is the ext4 or ext3 or ext2 so we're going to choose the windows based one we're going to be doing the whole uh, drive here so we're going to select this one and that's the one we're going for now i've plugged in my usb flash drive and this is where we're going to back our data up to once we've recovered it so it's important that you can't recover data to the same drive you're scanning on so let's go ahead and select our usb flash drive here so this is our drives so let's go ahead and select this now you can create a folder inside here but the software creates folders as it recovers data so now like i said before this uh, software actually recovers over 480 different types of file extensions so now you can choose what types of files that you want to recover you can leave it to scan and recover all files but this can be very long and it can also get very messy with recovering data that you don't need so what i suggest you do is try to scan for the files that you're trying to look for on that drive for instance i'm going to be scanning for jpeg files so i don't need to scan for all this other stuff because otherwise you're going to end up pulling loads of data uh, onto that drive that you might not need and it will take a long time so no good searching for music or iso files if we're only searching for jpeg files so we're going to select just jpeg here but if you need other types of files then i'd advise you to select uh, which ones you want or select and scan all i'm going to click ok here just for jpeg files and now that's done we can now hit the search button and this will go off and search the whole of that drive and try to pull back all of the data uh, that it finds and you'll see up on the top right hand side now like i said before this will recover data on external drives usb flash drive ssd micro sd cards also any sort of mechanical hard drives or ssd nvme drives and many more and it will also uh, scan on other operating systems and loads of different file types as well now thing to remember is other software you see out there on the market is basically going to allow you to scan to recover data but generally because they're paid it will only allow you to see the data and it won't allow you to recover the data unless you pay for it this is completely 100 percent free and it won't cost you a penny to recover the data so if you have managed to recover your data then maybe consider donating to the creator of the software because this is free software and we want to keep it that way so you can see here we do have uh, some files that it's already started to recover you can see a load of other junk files that it has recovered as well but it's the wallpapers that we're looking for here and you can see it's recovering quite a few different wallpapers and remember it's scanning the whole drive so it's going to try to recover all of the jpegs on that scan and basically you can see here it's starting to find uh, the actual files that we're looking for here i'll try and open one but it is still scanning so it might take a bit of time to open but you can see here that the file should work perfectly fine and open uh, without any issues so you can see it's starting to load up here and there we go the file has now opened and we can now have the file back so i can copy all the files over that i want and just discard all of the rest so all in all it has done a pretty good job i'm just going to let this finish because it hasn't found all of the uh, wallpapers yet but i'm pretty sure it's going to and i'll let you know right near the end of the scan so we can see exactly what it actually recovers so we'll just let this finish off also if you have managed to recover your data then leave a comment down below and let me know whether you were successful at recovering data and also give the video a thumbs up it does help with the youtube algorithm now remember depending on how large the drive is will determine how long the scan is going to take to complete and how fast your computer can process all of this you can see it's now finished its scan and it's found quite a bit of data so let's go in to our usb flash drive and you can see there's three folders inside here i'm going to go into the third one because we didn't check this one and go to extra large and you can see it's pulled up a bunch of different uh 
wallpapers that we have here and there they all are right there it's found loads of them here and it's recovered every single one of them files that we've uh, formatted on now this could also uh, be other types of files like documents or uh, maybe other types of image like png or other types of files that you can recover using this software and using this method it's very quick and very easy and it's completely free to recover your data in this way now this is one of the best free uh, software i know to recover data and again you can see 1.2 million views over 13 years i know other big channels get that in literally one day or two days but it took me 13 years to get that many views on that particular software and the audio wasn't that great so i wanted to make a new video on photo rec now if you want to pay for software one of the best paid softwares out there that will recover data if the drive is functional is get data back and this is a very good piece of software this is not a sponsored video i've been using this software for many many years and it's never let me down at recovering data so if you want something that's even more advanced and even more better at recovering data and you don't mind shelling out a little bit of money then get data back is probably one of the best data recovery software out there at $79 for lifetime uh, use it's worth buying if you are working in the PC repair industry it's worth doing it if you're recovering data using software other than that you have to do hardware data recovery which can be quite costly Anyway, with that said, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.